Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Salt and Light. My name's Kev and I'm building a 47 foot Dudley Design catamaran here in Japan. Today I'm going to continue on with uh, cutting the shear clamps, uh, cut the bevels on them uh, and then get them ready for scarfing and also for gluing onto uh, the hulls. Uh, which will be the next uh, step in the process. Next thing I need to do is to make the shear clamp. And um, the shear clamp runs along uh, what will be the top edge of the, uh, the hull. The shear clamp is used to uh, hold the, uh, the side uh, panels and the deck panels on, uh, along the edge of the hull. Uh, so using uh, Tassie Oak uh, for this, so I just got to rip that down and start getting that ready to uh, be scarfed together, installed onto the hull before I can do the stringers. Yesterday I was able to get all of the uh, shear clamp timber uh, uh, cut down to size and to width uh, or to thickness and width. Uh, now today I'm going to run through the saw, put the bevels on to create the correct angles required where they sit onto the bulkheads. So this is the area of where the um, shear clamp will attach to. Uh, it needs to sit along here so it will be used to join uh, the side skins and the deck skins together and I have a um, I've already uh, glued and screwed um, hardwood clit uh, onto there uh, so now I just need to uh, cut uh, this this uh, bevel so the the uh, shear clamp will screw to this face here and then um, be cut at an angle to suit here.
uh, I've got the uh, scarf joints cut, uh, but you know, it's, uh, my saw is, uh, wasn't quite um, big enough. Really should have got a 10 inch uh, saw, but mine's eight and a quarter. Uh, so I just missed out by about 10 millimeters. Uh, so I just need to plane off uh, this little bit of area here where the saw didn't quite make it. I'm a bit old school. I like uh, I like the old hand plane, and really, there's no substitute with for a uh, hand plane with a really nice sharp blade. You know. I've got the blade um, set fairly shallow, so uh, it takes quite a bit to take the little bit off, but um, uh, but I can go straight on and then take out and uh, clean off uh, some of the saw marks uh, as well. Leaves a nice uh, nice finish, ready for gluing. Good morning, guys. It's uh, a bit chilly here today. We've uh, seems like winter is uh, is on its way. Last couple of days, I've been gluing. Uh, all of the uh, shear clamps together so they are all now done and also uh, just continuing to uh, glue uh, stringers together. I'm going to continue today fitting uh, the shear clamps to the bulkheads uh, just planing away um, just the different angles uh, to make sure that the shear clamp uh, fits nicely and, and follows the lines of the bulkhead uh, so we get a nice fair uh, uh, line as the shear clamp runs forward. So we'll be doing that today. So you see here I've got uh, the uh, some of the stringers, some of the stringers um, being glued up, and we've got uh, just a shear clamp here. Um, I just have it uh, clamped uh, to the bulkhead just for test fitting. Um, someone said to me once uh, in one of the comments why I didn't uh, go and build the 55 foot uh, boat. Apart from the extra expense of course of, of, of the larger boat but uh, the, as it's turned out uh, the building is only really just big enough it, just um, for us to get some of these stringers in we've had to We've had to stick them out the window uh, to be able to feed them in through the bulkheads, um, especially these ones on this side, where they've had to fit through uh, a number of the bulkheads. Uh, yeah, the stringers we had to we had to put out through the window over there to to get them in. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm sort of glad I didn't go with the 55 foot. This uh, building. Has worked out to be just a really good size uh, for this size build uh, so definitely happy that I've, I've went with uh, the 47 foot. To make the uh, shear clamp fit nicely just on these cleats uh, I need to uh, just take off uh, a little bit uh, just as the shear clamp runs forward mainly from uh, bulkhead uh, D as it runs forward it, it curves in slightly uh, towards the front uh, bow of the boat uh, so off these four uh, cleats I just need to take a little bit off just to fair it and to make sure that the um, shear clamp has a nice fair line going forward. This one's a little bit more difficult to get into, so get the old trusty uh, 
chisel, I'll take, uh, I'll take the bulk of it off with the chisel and then I'll come back with a, um, an air sander and just, and just uh, make sure that it's all uh, nice and flat. Alright, so uh, we're up to trying to install the shear clamp on the uh, starboard side here. Uh, so I've got it uh, glued up and laying on the ground here and I've got to get it and uh, feed it through uh, this bulkhead. Uh, I can't, I don't have enough space at this side um, to, with all the stuff that's up there. So. I'm going to open up the door here and I'll just show you what I have to deal with. Oops. Take you outside here. So here's the shear clamp coming out the door. Uh, I've got a ladder here. Just, um, just the other day when I was um, doing the other on the port side, uh, the end of it went for a bit of a swim. So. Um, I've just got to bring this out about another uh, another 400 mils uh, to be able to clear uh, to be able to get into the bulkhead. So here we go. All right, we'll see how this goes. The other day when I did the port side, I had someone <laughs> I had someone helping me. So uh, we'll see how we go this time by myself. outside but um, good thing the sheep clamp didn't go in the water which is good so uh, here we go Well, I better get some gloves on. It's uh, this this piece of timber is pretty heavy, and uh, and got quite sharp edges where I've um, uh, cut the bevel, uh, so I can I can see myself with a nasty splinter in my hand because uh, it's fitting through. Uh, it's got to go through two bulkheads, and it's it's a fairly neat. Uh, <clears throat> I you know made the opening big enough um, to be able for it to move freely. Uh, but I don't want it so big uh, that it's going to be slopping around. So, yeah, it's it's finding that balance of, of how big to make it. Uh, I want to keep it as tight as I possibly can, uh, but yes, it also needs to be able to slide through. So it's um, it's starting to feel a little bit tar, uh, just the way that the, the, the timber's twisting. Um, yeah, it's it's challenging by myself. But anyway, we'll see how we go. We'll keep going.
700 mils. But now I've, I've got to push it through um, through both both ball kits, so <laughs> being a little challenging. Success. Just quickly show you um, where I've had to go. So I've had to get through that bulkhead and then uh, along here, underneath this one, and then through through this bulkhead here, and then uh, and then out to the to the aft of the boat. So oh, good to have that one in. The other the uh, what will be the Outside shear clamps there are easy because they don't actually have to go through a bulkhead. They can just be lifted straight up onto the bulkhead, so they're going to be easy. Uh, it's just these ones who are a little more challenging, especially by yourself. So, anyway, that's in, um, which is great. All right, so it's a little bit hard to see here, but uh, just been fitting the end of this shear clamp. Uh, so, the idea is I've got it clamped um, to these two cleats. Uh, and then just by putting a little bit of pressure onto, you know, it's a, you've got to sort of twist it and push it against the bulkhead. The idea is to uh, be able to just push it against the bulkhead and it, it then just nice, nicely um, butts up against the stem here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed. But I've just been sanding away, um, uh, sanding away, and so that I can just I can just push that in there, and then it um, meets up nicely with the stem. Uh, so really happy with that. It's going to be a nice joint, uh, just ready now for uh, gluing in. All right, that's it for uh, this episode. And uh, as you can see, we're in a bit of a uh, different environment at the moment. Uh, Meg and I were fortunate enough to be able to uh, head back to Australia for a couple of weeks and we're just in isolation in Tokyo for a few days uh, at the moment. So trying to uh, get a bit of work done on some of the uh, videos and get them out and get them ready to uh, go out over the next few weeks. So yeah, stay tuned uh, and see what's coming up. Uh, it's going to be a great year this year. I'm looking forward to uh, getting the holes uh, completed to a point where we can roll them over and I'm uh, hoping to be uh, able to do that in towards the end of April. So stay with us for this build and it should be a lot of fun and uh, if you enjoy it please like and subscribe and uh, and support the channel that'd be fantastic and we'll see you in the next one.